All right, I'm back. Let me change this title. HSR 2.1. All right. We're go probably going to keep playing for a little bit longer. Um, just as a heads up. And um, <clears throat> we're probably going to play for like an hour. Uh, for like a, an hour more. And then we're going to wrap it. Just, uh, just letting you guys know. Okay. Optional. Talk to Topaz. Where's P.U.? Oh, right. I forgot to bring back that dumb bitch. We don't need P.U.? You're right. We don't need that whore. We don't need that whore for this. Anyway. It was nice watching you guys. Yeah! Thank you, everybody, for stopping by. You guys are awesome. All right, anyway. Now, does it feel to be in business with Aventurine? I bet you're not used to it. It's the worst. That's I'm kidding. His style. Ball or nothing is his mantra. He's always cozying up to his clients while egging them on to undertake some dangerous assignment with him. But everyone has their merits, so I won't comment further. Hmm. But Aventurine's luck has now back to dialogue jail. He's always At least it's interesting dialogue. And basically never lost a gamble. Which is why, on the issue of retaking Penna County, I'm watching with keen interest. He's good, though. It works only when all parties' interests are aligned. <laughs> of course. It's business, after all. What's important is where you're seated at the table. Hmm. As for the two cases, apologies, but I don't have much info on them either. All I can do is ask you to keep digging for more details. Mm, fair enough. All right. We're talking to ask Bloodhound for clues. We're carrying out our captain's orders. What? What do you want? <laughs> We're carrying out our captain's orders. My guy's got an accent. We made a mistake last time, and we're working hard to rectify it now. We don't have time for anything else. Surveilling the IPC executive Topaz. Ensuring that she stays put at the Reverie Hotel during her time on Panacone. We've got the right one this time. Sure you do. So that's it. They were the pair who were after Firefly at the time. Remember me? <laughs> uh, uh, it's you again. Back for more trouble? We're not afraid of you this time. I'm pretty sure you are. Well, spit it out. Stop bothering us if you've nothing important. So you know each other. Uh, why do you keep running into people you've beaten up before? Ah, it's a talent. What can I say? I've got a business with your captain. When's our, when's our lunch break? Mmm, hungry. <laughs> oh, sheesh, why do you keep asking me that? We're in the middle when's of our lunch a break? Me hungry. Family. Uh, may we speak Better to your captain ride. about it? You guys take it easy. Oh. Well, hey, the security officer instructed everyone to shut their traps before he returned from Dream's Edge. What murder? You'd better stop spouting nonsense. You didn't say murder. Yeah, th 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 that's right. We have nothing to report. Please leave. Looks like they're not going to cooperate, but they did at least tell us that the captain is at Dream's Edge. Why don't we just look for the security officer then? It's probably Gallagher, the one he mentioned, right? Yeah, I just pulled him like four times. Technically five. All right, go to Gallagher. That's not the button. Go to Gallagher. Oh, such tight security. I bet they're stumped by the case as well. Doubt it. Gallagher. Uh, where could he be? Hmm. Spot the main character. Apologies. The Bloodhound family is running an investigation up ahead. No unauthorized personnel allowed. We're the uh, we're the Trailblazers. Bon Part of the Astral Express. I think I've seen you before. 
the, the gray-haired one. Yeah, we uh, made you go through depression, I think. How much trouble have you stirred up exactly on Penacone? A lot. Uh, that ain't it, Chief. You got the wrong guy. That's right. It's a me, Clocky. Uh, you think you look alike? How about a clockwork Wait, trick? Wait, are you for real? Not possible. It was you the last time yelling about some clockwork friendship while beating me up with that silver-haired girl. Yeah, we did do that shit. Uh, uh. Uh. I'm not letting you get by this time. Please leave, or I'll have to get on my knees and beg you. Oh, we caused trauma. Huh? What kind of heinous crime have you committed now? Nothing! Hold on, sir. We have documents authorized by the family that would aid your investigation. If it wouldn't trouble you, could we see this Mr. See, Gallagher? chat, we just caused a lot Who exactly of mental is this damage. Gallagher you keep talking about? There have been a few people mentioning this name. Even the one with the gray hair. Uh, he didn't send you all here? It was the security officer who dispatched us? That's all I can divulge. Uh, he'll do! He's the one we've been looking for! <sighs> Sorry, no can do. The boss said that since it's a matter of the family's reputation, no one's allowed through. Interesting. Everyone, please leave. There's really no need for us to make this. Man, he is for each still other, going right? through it, chat. We're really sorry for troubling you. I'll leave you now. Let's think of another way. Another way. Uh, that's it. Didn't they say something about that? Oh, uh, what was it? Clockwork? That got this guy to change his mind. Yeah, Can I'll make him change his mind. Again? Yeah, just what I've been waiting for. I've been waiting for this. Come here, you smelly butthead. <sighs> Sorry. No, everyone. Let's put him in a good mood. <sighs> Let me see what time it is now. Hey, what up, meow? Whoa. It's this time already. That's right. Uh, it's time break to clock time. Out, and no one's gonna stop me. This guy's a hoot. The highly principled member of the Bloodhound family laughed heartily and left the scene. Uh, what? Huh? <laughs> uh, this clockwork <laughs> trick of yours. It's kind of dangerous. Yeah. At least he won't be getting in our way again. Wait a minute. Let's go find that Gallagher and ask him the intricacies of the case. Wait a minute. Similar. So similar, but different. Similar power. It's. It's kind of like Sundays. Huh. How like Sunday is able to get the truth out of us. Like it's not the same, but interesting. I was wondering what all the commotion was. Huh. Oh, it's you guys. Welcome. Since you made it here, <laughs> what can I do for you? That's very interesting. I didn't make that connection until we had to reuse that power again. Hello, Mr. Gallagher, sir. Judging from your tone, it sounds like you were expecting us. <laughs> Miss Himako, you're too polite. There's no need to call me sir. Mr. Gallagher. <laughs> sure, I'ma call you name. sir. Of course I do. You folks are from the legendary Astral Express and honorable guests of the Watchmaker. I had an encounter with this gentleman in the golden hour. I remember that little silver-haired girl was there, too. I'm sorry for what happened to that kid. That's exactly what the family has ordered us to investigate. This is also the reason why we've come to visit you, Mr. Gallagher. The Express can't just overlook the death of that child. 
So we've decided to help the family get to the bottom of it. In the hopes of getting justice for her. Hell yeah. The Nameless involved with the family. What an unpredictable twist of fate. Damn right. Why? What's wrong with the family? Uh, it's nothing. On Penicone, everyone loves the family. No matter how much one resists the beautiful dream, when the time comes, they too will find it hard to let go. Who wants to leave a warm nest? Just idiots, little kids, and inebriated fools. Mr. Gallagher seems to be getting at something. He can hear that. You got it wrong. I'm not. You want to discuss the case? Sure. Come with me. This is not a good place to talk. Let's go elsewhere. Elsewhere it is. At this moment on the other side. <clears throat> Even after that chilling tragedy, this dream is still running effortlessly. Damn. Other than the family of the Harmony, it's hard to imagine any other power in the universe that could sustain a building of such magnitude. The family itself is a huge, perfect building. Like a living idol. Each member of the family sees themselves as a piece of hey, the Kitty, puzzle thank you for the two months. revolving around see a singular brave, core and a shared brave. ideal. Under their command, they loyally fulfill their roles. Offering themselves while also receiving sustenance in return. Uh, dun -dun -dun. Right. Interesting analogy. Perhaps that's why Penacone's beautiful dream has persisted for so long. But the human body has its limits, and so does the divines. That doesn't sound like the kind of comment a <coughs> galaxy ranger would make. No, they wouldn't. Just pointing out the facts. Mr. Yang will definitely have a better sense of what's going on than I do. Hey, what up? Welcome to the stream. We're just playing through the Pentacone story that just came out. Why do you say that, Miss Acheron? The beautiful dream is crumbling. But not because of a particular eon, a particular faction, or a particular visitor. That's collapse stems from a certain inevitability of human nature. The family refuses to acknowledge this, and it has ultimately backfired and become a catalyst. Hmm. As people immerse their souls in the dreamscape, where consequences and pain cease to exist, and only ease and pleasure prevail. You think Welt remembers May? No idea, actually. Necrosis. Regardless of the perceived bliss, death looms as the inevitable conclusion. Also, this necrosis will diffuse and spread. One piece of the puzzle's mutation will eventually cause the entire building to shake, mm. break, and crumble. In the end, the dreams that people built in the name of freedom became the cage that imprisoned them. For staying in it for too long. I'm sure you've gained a lot from this trip, Miss Acheron. Are you willing to share your findings with me? Of course. Oh, shit, my bad. She said if that's... She says this as her hand gently rests on the hilt of the sword. And then quickly lets go in the blink of an eye. Interesting. Of course, that's if I remember. And then that's... Okay. Hmm. Oh! Don't mind me. It's just a habit. Owing to events in the past, I've become easily... forgetful. It's only when this sword is unsheathed that those hazy memories start to become clearer. But then I start killing everybody. Take your time. <clears throat> that should do it. I vividly remember everything that occurred on Penacone. Ask away. Regarding the moment of daybreak. The moment of daybreak. I've heard that's where the Dawn Factory, which processes the foundation of the dreamscape, is located. Behind the dreamscape's song and dance stand many imagination factories. Workers create all kinds of whimsical works day in and day out in their dreams. Then they return to reality and sleep on a narrow bed in a room. A far cry from luxury. They say it will suffice. 
Experiencing what a up, bizarre sniper. and motley dreamscape is the best reward. There I encountered a young mm. woman who had just come of age. The perfect time to indulge in beautiful dreams. Her greatest wish was to one day move to the golden hour. Huh. And see the magnificent garments she had woven with her own hands. For certain reasons, her wish was difficult to fulfill. What the hell? But I managed to bring her a garment. Regarding the Gilded Hour. Gilded Hour. It's said to be Penacone's currency center. Yes. It is a fortress-like financial city. The economic heart of the dreamscape. The Papeshi people of the Alfalfa family are there to keep Alfalfa? it Alfalfa! Sending blood that is made from money everywhere on Penacone. Everyone there is exquisitely dressed and always in a hurry. The greatest <laughs> wish of the local Papeshi people is for their future generations to work in the Gilded Hour. I've never met well, anyone who is willing to talk. I could only stand at the crossroads, watching crowds of people hurrying like the wind through the jungle of steel. Only to deposit the alfalfa credits that they'd earned into the bank's vault. I don't know if they would open the vault's door. But before I left, I witnessed a well-dressed Papeshi person plummet from the sky. All those around him continued on their way. Interesting. Hmm. About the blue hour. I hear the blue hour is very romantic. Do you have... Perhaps Mr. Yang has heard. There is a large boat called the Aventide, anchored along the Sea of Dreams, where soft music and dancing... Feel something as a Honkai Impact third player? I'm sure. I ran into a wizened lady there. She was at the dock, waiting for her long-departed lover to return. I hear Blue Hour and I still waiting think Dark hour. hour. I also think that. that stood still. Welcome to the In Velvet the Room. Sea breeze, she spoke of her own youth. Like many who desired wealth and love, they came to Panacone to pursue their dreams. Alas, her lover's consciousness was lost in the dark depths of the Sea of Dreams. Finally, she suggested we continue our conversation on a boat in the shallows. I agreed and boarded the boat with her. But she never said anything. Her eyes absent-mindedly gazing at the horizon hmm. for what seemed like forever. Finally, we retreated to the beach. Interesting. At the moment of dusk. Of chic, luxury, and consumerism. Consumerism. The of dusk. My companions have been there too. Then you all must have seen those who are attempting to realize their dreams. Or have realized them. Scattering money as if it were dust and betting it on all or nothing. Everything has a price. And everything can be bought or sold. <sighs> Even dreams themselves. Huh. I saw Even dreams can be sold. Who was preparing to auction himself. When someone wins a bid under stipulated periods and rules, he would do the buyer's every bidding, becoming that person's very possession. That Intellitron hmm. had been auctioned off a dozen times, and I participated in his 13th. That was the grandest banquet I had ever attended. But never again did anyone cast another glance at him. Interesting. This time around, there were no <coughs> successful bids for him. That's everything. This is what I've seen and heard along the way. Wow. What the hell? Someone once said to me, Panacone wasn't like this a long time ago. Nor should it be. Hmm. I've traveled through the reality and dreamscape of the planet of festivities. Watch the tides of night rise and fall when time stopped for people. Where the spirits of the rich and impoverished remain forever fixed on their own scales. This is why I think the collapse of the beautiful dream is inevitable. Damn. There might be a way to change everything. Oh? Perhaps. But if this is indeed the world that people desire, if this is precisely why life chooses to slumber, should we still seek to change it? If this is precisely why life chooses to slumber... Wow, like if this is the world's, like, the living's, like... 
If this is their wildest fantasies, why change it? <sighs> Miss Acheron, now it's my turn to share a story with you. Why did the song change? There was a man from my homeland who, at a time when the world was grappling with deep, unhealable pain, made a choice. Are you talking about Otto? He wove together the dreams of everyone in the world, linking people's dreamscapes, and shouldered this burden himself. From this, Kevin? he created a giant, a spiritual Adam. Bro, this music is some near automata or near replicant shit. And since that moment, the giant stood between heaven and earth, becoming the pillar of the world's existence. As a price, those who found it hard to move forward, who could not advance, forever lost their future. They slumbered in a dream, devoid of disaster and pain, living out their days peacefully in the man's created utopia. And it is because of the wishes of those people who wished not to awaken that this spiritual Adam became unbreakable. Do this song. And yet, you stand here right now. Which also means that man failed. Because people must always move towards the future. Even if human weaknesses make them pause when they truly cannot move forward, humanity will eventually seek a way to save itself. And that man, he was never a failure. Like everyone in that world, he etched the possibilities of human nature into his heart. He was the sun chaser of legend soaring Icarus. towards the sky and embracing his final victory with his fall. He ascended to heights uncharted only to come face to face with the sun, a place not visited by anyone before. His wings would melt because of it, only for him to fall into um, the sea. I think and his wings that, would welt. You had the M said to, you didn't have it set to Wombo. It should be Welt, not me Anyway. Countless others would surpass him, soaring to even greater heights. Like you. A fitting metaphor for the nameless's trailblazing spirit. Oh. Thank you, Mr. Yang. I know what you wish to confirm. The universe has innumerable similar yet different worlds. In these worlds, there are innumerable people who look alike, yet don't. I, too, have embarked on journeys, encountering old friends with familiar faces on different worlds, witnessing their destinies oh. follow paths similar to mine. Oh. So I will tell you, even if not completely similar, the story you just told, uh. Uh. it overlaps with my past. And within that abyssal dream, I ended that man's life alone. Oh, I know, <sighs> bro. If well, you say, I know, I'm gonna lose it. I am not who you think I am. <gasps> nor will my home be as fortunate as your world. What? So you're not right in May? I am sorry. Damn. It's fine. I don't mind, so long as I can alleviate your suspicions. Different May. Not right in May. Still a May, but a different May. And I'm glad they both caught on. That's crazy. There's something I still wish to know, Miss Acheron. Under that representation of the hunt, exactly what sort of power is it that has motivated your solitary journey thus far? Not the hunt. 
Mr. Yang, before answering that question, I wish to continue the previous topic. Oh. I like your analogy very much. Indeed, birds are born to fly. But in a distant past, their ancestors could only gaze at the sky in envy. They saw that faraway ray of light from above the heavens, piercing through the clouds and blanketing the earth. And so, time and time again, generation after generation, the birds spread their wings and took to the sky, attempting to touch its ceiling, all because the sun was there. Then, what if the last bird finally soars into the sky, only to realize that the end of the light is not the sun, but darkness? The all-consuming black hole. Then why, exactly, do we even walk towards the light? Fuck. Wow. <sighs> you know, pick up the phone. See, having fun on Pentacony, Acheron. Do not tell me this is the man himself, Boot Hill. Not the action I was expecting. This voice, it's not Constant. Could it My be a guy. Though I don't know exactly what you are or what you're up to. Ooh, well, they are a galaxy ranger. My boy. Find That's boot hill, baby. So then you best find a casket store on Panacone and ask the owner to reserve a good quality casket for you, imposter. Call yourself a galaxy ranger? I'll show you a fucking galaxy ranger. Imposter? I see. She gave my whereabouts to someone who's tracking Acheron too. Who are you? Huh? Uh, did I make a mistake? <laughs> uh. Who the heck are you? Aw, he's he's like, oh shit, my bad. I didn't mean to. Hey, think of the twelve months bunny jams. My, my guy's like, whoa, whoa, my bad, miss. Uh, I didn't mean to uh, to threaten you. I was meaning to threaten another demoiselle. Uh, what's your name? I'm the Garden of Recollections memo keeper. Ah, true, true. <laughs> Not bad. This is the kind of tough challenge I like. You that imposter's bodyguard? <laughs> Never mind. It's fine. I'll leave a round for you. So get that forehead clean and wait for me. God damn! Wait a minute! So get that forehead clean. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> kind of line? Holy shit. I don't know what you're talking about. But you know Acheron. Oh, you're about to trigger this man. Yes. I have something to ask you. If he goes, she ain't no damn galaxy <laughs> Are you asking me to write your will? Sure. Go ahead. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that. Not quite. I only want to ask, how exactly did she become a galaxy ranger? <sighs> She's clearly not a path strider of the hunt, but you are, aren't you? Tell me, what's Acheron's deal? <laughs> sure. Heck, never thought I'd come across an ally. What a stroke of luck. Um, well, <laughs> I'll be on Penacone soon. Uh, memo keeper, go buy a bottle of his Donna's white oak and warm it up, and I'll raise a glass to you. That lady's past. <laughs> well, nobody knows. But if all you want is a simple answer, sure, you best get a chair and take a seat. That woman named Acheron is an emanator who should not exist. Ooh, fuck. That bitch an emanator. Hell yeah, brother. 
You really fucked us, Ratio. Bro, jumping from story to story is actually crazy. Bro, you really do need a dictionary for fucking Honkai Star Rail. Emanator is a term referring to those who have attained the permission of an eon to draw power from their chosen path. So we know she's not the hunt. She's Nihility. So she draws from the power of Nihility. Insane. You look pale. Or is that also part of your act? No, it's my complexion. <sighs> I didn't think you'd have the nerve to show yourself. I thought this was exactly what you wanted. After all, I faithfully fulfilled my duties as you instructed. Just tell me if you can't hold on any longer. Wait, what? So, the genius of the Council of Mundanites wants to be my undertaker now. <laughs> my, what an honor. Yes. And I'm pretty sure the people at the Strategic Investment Department would love to be notified of your death in due time. But let's not forget, you won't be seeing them, because I'm the manager of this task. Great. Then tell your people that Aventurine is ready to go in 17 system hours. Oh, you've got a lot of nerve. How exactly do you plan on completing your task while your hands are tied by the harmony? Wait, what the fuck? So... So it doesn't... It seems like Aventurine wanted Ratio to help him and then... Ratio went in a different direction. It did exactly what... Well, my conversation with Sunday convinced me that there's a traitor in the family. They hold the secrets of Pentecost. So wait a fucking so minute. I took the opportunity to set everything in motion. Aventurine was planning to get fucked over. What the fuck? I even managed to recover the gift money. <laughs> Things haven't gone what? this smoothly since I walked through the doors of the reverie. I can't believe this. Now I'm only one step away from victory. Let's just what this. is this mind manipulation bullshit? Sounds like a very elaborate way of saying that you failed. <laughs> That's all I can say. Have you forgotten, Doctor? You betrayed me. Go. Do what you must. I look forward to the sight of the IPC fleet surrounding Panacone. You've achieved what you desired. I would have yeah, I haven't you? That's true, but what's your plan? Did you conceal an orbital support beacon in that gift money bag? Well, who knows? Maybe that's why I'm handing out cash even when I'm about to bite the dust. You are indeed a gambler. An insane one at that. So he did all of that just to find out that there is someone in the family that's a fucking traitor? Maybe I am. Who knows? Now what? Oh my god. All right. I'm back on the Fine. adventuring train. Here, take this. Open it when you're on your last legs. You'll thank me. What's this? Medical advice? Bao is talking about talking crap about your Honkai character. John Fung. He changed one letter. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Hold on, chat. How come he's not Don Gung? That's next to H. Why is he Don Fung? <laughs> what? What's so funny? It's an actual question. Perhaps it is your visage. Beetle Ball, thank you so much. Or the unmistakable air of the you talking shit? No! Why are you here? Leave! Your chat snitched. I can't play this game in peace! Your chat snitched. I Don't blame me. I gotta see your damn name and hear your damn voice! Stop it! Get out! Were to <laughs> Don't blame me! This world Why do you keep taking the hot characters? Oh. No, it's weird if I thirst after them! Lamau. Okay, cool. Oh. Enjoy oh, the game. Now, oh, now you think it's funny. Now you think it's funny. 
funny. Okay, yes. cool. It's hilarious. Enjoy the game. What? <laughs> Dude, does someone call his phone or something? Like, hey, hey, you're yes, on, you're they on do. the stream. And <laughs> where, where are you coming they from? They really do. They yeah, really do. Yeah, they do. Who? Your chat. Your chat literally hits me up. It comes to my stream and then literally is like, that is what happens. Anyway. You catch on pretty fast, Doctor. <laughs> Ooh, he can feel the harmony. Asking me to solve a case without giving a single clue. How typical of you. Wing headed scoundrel. I really thought that said you won wing scoundrel, and I was like, <gasps> Sephiroth? But the way you're all on edge about that stowaway, <laughs> it's just as I guessed it would be. As for now, let the rain of wealth from the IPC fall evenly on everyone. Let out. Oh my god. So, dude, we have... Chad, if you can see this. Dude, look at the surrounding. Like, he's surrounded by the harmony. Does that happen if I switch? Dude, his vision is surrounded by the harmony. That's actually crazy. Hey, you want some money? Would you be willing to support my performance? Thank you. Yep, take the money. Wow, how fabulous. But why would you give such a wonderful gift to a random stranger like- Well, Because I'm so giving. I can't bear to see anyone in this sweet dream suffering from poverty. That's yeah, that's it. Incredibly kind of He's you. got Riz. Thank you so much. This part actually gave me a migraine. Uh, yeah, I can see why. Chance, the colors. Please, feel free to come by and indulge in my singing. No, I don't like you <laughs> sure that much. Um, by the way, do you happen to know anything interesting about death? Death? That's a pretty scary topic. Oh, so and my guy is using his really money to, to like to spread degree. it and try to get as much info as he can. <laughs> oh, you see, I'm a tabloid reporter collecting ghost stories in Panicone. <laughs> As you know, the more chilling the stories, the more attention they get. <laughs> Maybe you could help me out. Well, if you're up for some gossip, it's not about death, but there have been some rumors about a guest at the reality hotel who fell into a deep sleep and didn't wake up. Hmm. It was like they were in some sort of coma. Nobody knows what caused it, but luckily the customer eventually regained consciousness. Well, all customers are under the protection of the family, after all. Sure. <laughs> Thank you. This will make for a very juicy headline. May she pay protect us. May she pay protect us. Unexplained coma. <laughs> That's actually what happens to your body if your brain dies in a dream. But unfortunately, the customer ended up waking up in the end. Okay, who's <laughs> next? I can feel something inside my head. Uh, is the harmony starting to... Are you throwing up? Throwing up rainbows? Question, All right. In your opinion, how old is Kevin, Otto, and Welt? They gotta be like thousands, right? The world has truly lost its way. I'll spot you, old timer. Wait. I get it now. This is some sort of prank show, right? You must have some camera set up around here to film yourself doing good deeds, right? You youngsters are always looking for a quick way to get an audience. But you know what? So glad does that to you, you taste the rainbow. Great show never comes easy. <laughs> a great show will start soon, old man. But before that, I need to ask you something. He called out TikTok. I mean, that's a you youngsters always. Wait to get an audience. You know where I can find death in this dream. Ah, I see. Another fearless young Another looking for death. Oh, well. Let me give you a piece of advice. Don't think you're the first one who's ever thought of that idea. Death? Not even remotely innovative. I bought it from Dr. Edward. 
He claimed it was some exclusive fancy schmancy stuff. Oh, what a disappointment. The effects were awful. First, some monster covered in eyes stabs you in the gut. And then what? all you see are blurry glimpses of buildings and lights. The sky was spinning so fast it almost made me puke. Is that all? Yeah, what else can you expect? Don't put too much stock in the Penacone movie industry. They even call this junk groundbreaking art. Hold on. Some monster covered in eye stabs you in the gut. And then all you see are blurry glimpses of buildings and lights. I mean, that is what happened to Firefly. Like, and the monster covered in guts is... Huh. Can you believe it? It's just a meme brush. Shut <laughs> up. What a joke. Well, I'll leave you be then. I hope you have a wonderful day. A monster covered in eyes. Yeah, the memory zone meme. That sounds like the memory zone meme. But buildings and lights. I don't think those have anything to do with death. Well, that whole dream bubble was probably created using rumors and gossip. Interesting. <laughs> ah, the disturbing voice in my head. Getting closer and closer. Uh, sip of liquor. A blissful reprieve to drown a thousand sorrows. Hey, I got some gems oh. for you, buddy. <laughs> you. You're drunk. Or are you just pitying me? Yes. Well, it really doesn't matter. As long as I have Soul Glad, that's enough. This is just a dream, after all. Oh, brother. <laughs> you really shouldn't drink so much Soul Glad, my friend. It's not good for your health. You'll die. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I really should quit. But not before meeting the devil of soul glad. The what? <laughs> the devil of soul glad? Yeah, the devil of what? A seahorse with a long yeah. neck. They say it loves to appear to drunk people. Especially what the, the fuck? who are passed out. On the side of the road. <laughs> How funny. Yeah, this dude is gone, gone. <laughs> yeah. Very funny indeed. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> oh, does everyone have to go through so much torment before joining the family? <sighs> Darn it. <laughs> now I just want to take out my brain and use it as evidence. True. Take care, my friend. If you ever find yourself in danger, remember that the hounds are always ready to help. I doubt it. <sighs> I got some gems. As if he were looking at a mud-soaked sparrow unable to fly and nearing its you end. You don't look good, my friend. If you need assistance, I can contact the hotel and have them wake you up forcefully. Man, I wish. <laughs> that won't be necessary. I have some business to attend to. Hey, pudding. Think but of thank the two uh same. think of the raid. All right then. It well, oh, my bad. Actually, it's fine. I do need a favor. As the most ratio voice? Huh. In it does sound like it, Have huh? Have you come across any <laughs> stowaways recently? Stowaways? How could there be stowaways in Penacony? We've never had anything like that before. It does sound like Rachel's voice, how'd right. you say it? Good luck with your work then. Uh, what was I even thinking? Family. <laughs> Damn, how many people we gotta talk to? Alright, time to talk to this child. Uh, and by child, I mean, uh, news anchor, obviously. You wanna talk to me? Sure, but nothing too sensitive, okay? Hey, you wanna talk about death? Huh. Wealthy people have fancy ways to enjoy this dream. But to be honest, I've never seen anyone who gives out money to others like you. I'm uncomfortable that a child has this voice. So, are you trying to be the prince from the tale? Handing out his gold leaf garment and melting his lead heart in the fire? <laughs> I'm flattered. This story I'm is no prince, and I just thought these gems would help you speak. So, 
As an investigative reporter, maybe you've heard something about death. Death? Oh, another curious soul. I see. Well, that was actually the topic I was most into when I entered the industry. But my boss shut it down. Oh. How did your boss talk you out of it? Well, she simply said, covering baseless urban legends like that would make us look like some third-rate tabloid. I thought about it, and she had a point. Reporting on stuff like blowing out birthday candles and getting spooked that by That voice coming from a child is bothering exactly me. Papa, you're not even here, bro. Mm, guess she's got a point. Thank you for sharing. Fucking P.U. <laughs> Eventually, you're going through it, buddy. Start talking. Were you wanting to talk to me? Sorry, I thought you were checking out something behind me. Oh, I... that's... I know who that is. This a gift? For me? Are you sure this isn't some kind of mistake? Yes, it's for you. Just take it. Is this for real? Someone is actually giving me a gift. Not for my parents, but for me. Thank you. Thank you so much. No, it's not much. I just want to ask you something. <sighs> I knew it. What's hey, what up, Rugar? Are you trying to ask about my father or my mother? What? Um, neither. I just wanted to know if you've never heard about death in the dream. Oh, so like I said, my mother or my father? You sound just like my father. Always warning me about danger, even in dreams. He's an Intellitron, so his dream entry methods are different from us organics. Can't count on him to protect me if something does go haywire. Funny, right now I'm still under his protection. This guy needs therapy? 100%. Hey, stay positive. Gold will always shine one day, right? What up, Chino? <sighs> Holy shit. Devil of soul, glad. Dangers in the dream. And nightmare ghosts. Oh, we're passing out. Remember what I said? You Sigonians are better off hiding in the sewers. All right, Sparkle. Look at you, snooping around and sticking your nose everywhere. Damn, that's a good look. Is the smell of death? So enticing, my fine fellow. <laughs> oh, it's you, masked fool. I should have guessed it. Hey, Lucky Duck, You're thinking of the raid. the who appeared on TV after Robin's death, right? Damn. I heard you got caught by the family. I gave you a clear clue. Befriend a mute. Simple and straightforward, you know? And what did you do? You messed it up and ended up as their prisoner. I told you to make friends with a mute, not become one yourself. You really let me down. Hmm. What do you mean? You know better than I do. Who watched the little songbird that couldn't sing perish right before their eyes? You did, Blondie. Uh, no, I, I mean... What did you mean by becoming one myself? Well, it means you'll soon end up like her, unable to speak ever again. Bro, did Sunday... Did I call it, did Sunday kill Robin? No one answer that, chat. No one answer that. No spoilers. That's just me thinking out loud. Stop. <laughs> but it's a good thing if you ask me, because... Because I'm getting closer to the truth, right? Oh? Why else do you think I'm handing out cheap trinkets all over the streets, fool? Damn. All part of the act. Fool's bait. The more pathetic I seem, the more likely you'll come sniffing around. Wow. So, now that I've drawn you out, will you reward me with an answer for my efforts? 
Bro, all right. Aventurine's kind of kind of with it. He's actually kind of funny. Why should I help you? Don't you want to see Panacone descend into <gasps> chaos? <laughs> well, I can make that happen. I just need an answer to one question. I mean, back then, he, when you asked me to find a mute. I mean, he Oh my god, he's actually so fucking smart. Hold up. Cuz he has the IPC on the way. The whole armada. Oh my god, Adventurine is actually crazy, dude. This dude is actually so goddamn smart. Did you really mean Robin? I said that. I said that. I literally said that earlier. Oh. Hmm. You're being watched. And what if I say no? Oh. Then I'll thank you. <laughs> oh, the word no has never sounded so pleasing. <laughs> well done. I admit I underestimated you, but what difference would it make? Who would the mute be? I mean, the nameless, the trailblazer, technically, I mean, doesn't talk a lot, but does have a voice. I mean, I, I mean, if we're reaching, like, I, this is just me thinking out loud. This is not me looking for an answer, chat. Um, if we're reaching, it could be Acheron because of when she pulls out her sword, it's like a different person. But another person that could be considered mute is Firefly since she's dead, but like, you know, she's dead. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I have to see. I have to, you know. Let me tell you something. There were two mutes, but one huh. is dead now. And the other, though he's still in Penacony. I'm afraid you'll never find him again. Oh. So then one was Robin. And if you'll never find him in Penacony. Oh. Is it... It's either Clocky, who we think is the old, um... It's, oh God, I forgot. It's the nameless that is part, that is lost in this thing. That is what I'm assuming. Like literally what now, everybody is looking sure for. I was on the right track from the beginning and never strayed, fool. There's also Misha, that is an option. Right now, there are only two things missing from my grasp. The meaning behind the truth and the means to expose it. <laughs> How impressive. That's quite a fancy way of saying I haven't learned anything so far. All right, you know what? I'm on the adventuring defense force now. I'm on the adventuring's defense force now. I'm sick and tired of it because like, bro, ratio underestimated him. Sparkle underestimated him. I underestimated him. You know what? I see the vision. Not exactly. I've gathered enough clues to prove its existence. And that's enough for me. As for the answers to my questions, I'll find them within 17, no, 16 system hours. Well, yeah, because if you, if you do it in 17, you're dead. Oh, really? Only 16 system hours? Well, let me lend you a hand. Here you go. This is my precious, mutually assured distraction button. And I have one just like it. When either of us presses it, the other and the whole of Penacony will go up in smoke. I'm sorry? If you're really so desperate for the IPC to take over Penacony, blowing up the chessboard isn't a bad idea. Start from scratch. That's where the IPC excels, right? Wow.
Just press the button when you're at your wit's end. And of course, feel free to reach out to me for my hospice care too. Dude, Penacony is such a good story. I love the characters. Like, whether they're pieces of shit, whether they're good, they're all out for themselves. They all have an agenda and it's fucking insanity. They're all fleshed out so well too. Holy shit. My god. Oh, a deadly button, huh? <laughs> well, I guess the family didn't take your threat seriously at all. Otherwise, how on earth did you manage to bring it in here? <laughs> I have my own ways. That's all you need to know. <laughs> well, I'm afraid I'll have to decline your offer. Who knows if your little gadget will actually work. By the way, I have no plans to search for the other mute friend you speak of. But it's good to hear that he's still here in Penacony. I'll handle the rest myself. I'll orchestrate a grand finale for the downfall of the family. <laughs> and at the climax, the walls will crumble, people will wake up, and those who couldn't speak will find their voices again. Wow. When that time comes, go ahead, press the button, Light up the sky with a magnificent fireworks display for me. Catch you later, fool. <laughs> Catch you later, fool. <laughs> <laughs> You're still talking big. But sure, if that happens, I'll stay true to my word. It will absolutely be insane if the end of Penacony, they get rid of Penacony and you cannot access Penacony anymore. Just don't let me down now, okay? Where the fuck are we? So, number 35. You're back. Like your new lucky charm. What? What? Can a commodity code really be considered a lucky charm? Silence! I didn't give you permission to speak, you Sigourian hound. All right, racism. I hate it here. <sighs> guys in black didn't say much, so I've no idea what you did to save your skin in that massacre back in the day. Also, uh, shout out to him just dead ass looking like Kave. But I figured you must have had good luck, so I bought you. From now on, you and your good luck are my assets. <laughs> are we clear? I hate that. Your first task is simple. In addition to you, I've purchased 30, uh, well, 34 other slaves. Go and play a game with them. <laughs> you came out alive after two days. It proves that you are the real deal. Oh, I hate all that. You're insane. <laughs> Testing out if you're a good product. Oh my god, I hate uh, it here. Aren't you worried that the money you spent on me will go to waste? I've got stacks on stacks, Blondie. <laughs> the slave market is never short of self-righteous brats like you. Fuck. This guy fucking sucks? Yeah. I want to make it clear right now, chat. Because folks tend to forget when they get really invested in a game. Especially with Hoyo games. Just because someone is a piece of shit... Doesn't mean the actor is a piece of shit. I want to make that known. The actor is just doing their job of playing a bad guy. Not, they're not a bad guy. All right? This is just a character. Very important. And you might be wondering, it's like, well, yeah, that's obvious. No, no, it is not obvious. It is not obvious to people. So I'm making it as clear as possible. Yes, feel bad for Aventurine. Yes, Indifferent Male is a piece of shit. But neither of their actors are pieces of shit. Let it be... Point blank. But, you look good. And that's why many customers are betting their fortunes on a scrawny brat like you. So, go along now and uh, don't let your master down. 
How much did you spend? Five smackaroonies. What? My price. How much did you pay for me? I give me the 300 biddies. Wait, there are people who hate VA because of the characters they hate. Yes. Unfortunately, there are. Here's the crazy part, chat. Uh, I saw this on Twitter. Uh, so I'm voicing this disgusting character in Blue Exorcist. His name is Godoin. Uh, or Geddon. He, he's disgusting and he's apparently really hated in Blue Exorcist. Uh... And one of the quote tweets I saw was like, Again, do not send Alejandro death threats. Please, please do not send him death threats. He's just playing a character. And I'm like, oh. Oh, he does some like bad shit, huh? So, yeah, it's a real thing. It happens. So, just letting y'all know. Good people can play villains. You know, I'm just saying. Huh. You really want to know? Hmm. Well, it was six. We already top. pulled for Akron. No more. Red no copper less. coins. 60 red copper coins. I'll take my chances. 30 tanba. If I come back alive, you'll give me 30 tanba. Deal? My guy is gambling. <laughs> Are you trying to strike a bet with me? Oh, you've got some guts. Yeah, sorry, but uh, that won't do. Don't forget your place, slave. You're not qualified to be at the table. I hated all of that. You're just a chip. A life thrown away in someone else's hands. Either you come back with more chips for your master, or you never come back. Well, God dang. It's all or nothing. Don't embarrass me, my lucky hound. Ooh, I hate that name. Where did that even come from? Oh my god, dude. Huh. What brings you here, Gallagher? That is not the voice I was expecting out of them. <sighs> Some friends from the old days. Do you have a moment to spare, Siobhan? Oh, I have the whole day to spare. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dream Jolt Hostelry. Also, I'm like 90% sure this is uh, voiced by Lila Burzen, AKA Shao. <laughs> this bar offers a wide variety of drinks, but we draw the line at Soul Glad. Why settle for ordinary when you can experience extraordinary? We're dedicated to serving up nothing but pure joy and laughter. <laughs> what would you like to drink? I'll whip it up for you. Oh, look! A lady as cool as Serval! <laughs> Fair enough, she's cool indeed. I think she is Serval. Who's Serval? Will you, uh, introduce me to her? Oh, she like that! Oops! <laughs> she's heard us. Oh, yeah, I'll- I'll introduce you. spare them, my esteemed bartender. I'll take over the bar today. I'm getting up there in age, and I need some practice before I forget the skills that used to put food on my table. Uh, where did you stash the ingredients? They're all under the counter. Since our guests have traveled from afar, shouldn't you whip up some special drinks? That's exactly what I had in mind. <laughs> hey, my friends, do me a favor. Go around the bar and bring me any ingredients you fancy. The discussion might take quite some time. So I'll prepare some customized... Gallagher drinks almost, almost sounds like Sampo. Aren't all the ingredients right there on the counter? Why, we're in a dream, my lovely lady. You can help yourself oh, she to gay, gay. if you wish for it. And that's a-okay. hunger, confusion, or even boredom. It's all within Man, reach. Shadow right Lovely, thank you for the raid, and <laughs> damn it, I was... Oh, did you hear that? She just called me. Thank you for the raid. Oh, How's it going, lady? raiders? Even in reality, mixing drinks is more than just throwing ingredients together. A bartender needs to capture How's it the going, everybody? I'm Sayu. Master technique. And spin a tale of mystery and anticipation. I'm the Cyborg Sayu. I'm a voice actor. I voice Jing Yuan in this game. If you'd like to know what else I've been in, exclamation point, V-A in the chat. 
Only then can a perfect drink crafted with a customer's life story be created. In other words, what you get from your drink is down to luck. So don't overthink it. Indecisiveness has no place when it comes to enjoyment. Bet. All right, chat. I was actually going to be like, all right, next time that I switch, uh, I'm probably going to end the stream. Uh, because I'm thinking of ending now and then um, starting up again tomorrow morning. But tell you what. Do I have anything at my disposal? Maybe if I have one shingle pull. Maybe. Damn it. Nothing. We tried it. What do I think of the story so far? It is very fascinating. I know that a lot of people may not 100% fuck with how long this story is because it is long and we haven't gotten to do a lot of action, which I know that for some people that'll throw them off. Um, but for me, it's very interesting. It's a very, it's actually been super okay. fascinating learning about not just, um, you know, not just Acheron, but like, um, like learning about Acheron, learning about the story of everything. It's Genshin-y. I wouldn't even call it Genshin-y. Because the thing is, is that with Genshin, and I only make this comparison because people brought it up. Uh, the, it, it, the, the, with Genshin is there's a lot of stuff that is fillery, right? There's a lot of like dialogue that is just unnecessary and it's just padding. I have not felt that way about this story yet, right? Like I feel like everything we've done up to this point even talking to those NPCs with Aventurine, it was to lure out um, Sparkle, but also get a little bit of information from everybody. You know, talk about like death and all this stuff. But so far, I don't think in this the entire time in this story that I've been like, fuck man, like it when's it gonna, gonna get me. going, you know? Like the whole time I've been like, shit, what's gonna happen next? Like, fuck, I, 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 don't, I don't know what, what, are we, what are we doing? You know, like that's where that's where my mind has been. And I will say this has definitely won me over when it comes to adventuring. Um because like before with uh, uh adventuring, I was like, oh, um wait, how do I do this? There we go. Um, but yeah, like with Aventurine, like, I, I mean, before 2.1, I was like, eh, Aventurine is like, whatever, like, you know, um, but like now with everything like him leading up to it, everybody has underestimated this dude. And there's still so much more to the story that I, we have to go through. I, I'm assuming there's going to be like, what, like another three, four hours of story left, maybe more. I don't even know. And the crazy part is, I don't know what to expect. The most I've been able to theorize about, like, who the mute is. You know what I mean? So, what what I like about the Honkai Penacony story is that it, normally I'm able to, like, pull something out of my ass and be like, oh, maybe it's this, maybe it's that, maybe it's this, blah, blah, blah. But they always, like, throw me off, you know? I never know what to expect. So it's is it's a such a good good thing. Hey, Sailor May, thank you for the prime. But uh, but yeah, um, I have one hour left. I highly doubt that. And if I do, then great because we're going to finish it tomorrow. Um, anyway, I'm going to end the stream before anybody decides to spoil the game any further. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to end the stream.